Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Leadership Lounge with Marlo Foster. This is the final Leadership Lounge for 2019. In this episode, we take a break from nonprofit and political leadership and turn our eye to a story of leadership and redemption in athletics. Many felt that after his 2019 Masters victory, the redemption of Tiger Woods was complete. Not true. It was weeks leading up to, during, and after the 2019 President's Cup that redemption was truly complete. It is easy for everyone to remember the fall of Tiger in late 2009, the cheating scandal, the crashed car, the busted lip, the infamous golf club swung by Elon, and the strange, stoic press conference apology. The fall was precipitous and without mercy. Here are a few moments from that presser. Many of you in this room are my friends. Many in this room know me. Many of you have cheered for me, or you worked with me, or you supported me. Now, every one of you has good reason to be critical of me. I want to say to each of you, simply and directly, I am deeply sorry for my irresponsible and selfish behavior I engaged in. In a situation like Woods experienced, apologies, sincere or not, are rarely enough. They never fully satisfy the public. Skeptics continue to attack. Former hangers-on become self-righteous and friends are scarce. Woods went into self-imposed exile, stepping away from golf to work on himself and repair his marriage. Ultimately, both faltered. What was the appropriate penance and for what duration? Come back too soon and you never really cared and weren't really sorry. Stay away too long and you risk sacrificing the remainder of what many felt were your very few years left at a high level of golf. The marriage ended in divorce and the slow slog back to greatness was a meandering path of ups and downs, self-doubt, injuries and surgeries, and the realization at one point that he may never be able to compete professionally again. It is hard to imagine a point lower than late 2009, but Woods reached it and then. I remember Woods discussing with some reporter the time he was laying on his back, unable to move, recovering from yet another back surgery. He talked about just wanting to be able to do the normal things like stand without pain and kick a soccer ball with his children. Simply put, he became human. He became humble. He began the slow climb back to not only golfing greatness, but assuming the mantle of true leadership. Wood's perspective on golf and life have been transformed, and from my perspective, allow him to become who and what he is today, a true leader of men. This was clearly demonstrated through his captaincy of the 2019 President's Cup team, bringing it in a remarkable comeback from being down big early to a 16-14 victory. There were incremental steps and successes along the way, and from my perspective, the best precursor to his 2019 Masters victory was his tied for six at the 2018 British Open at Carnoustie. That is where the belief truly turned. That is where the switch flipped for Woods, and he knew he could win a major again. And he realized he could do it while being thankful for the opportunity and enjoying the moment not only with himself, but with fans and fellow players. Woods now has a sharper recognition of his role in the golfing world, and not only as the potential greatest player of all time, but a true leader. Opening up about his struggles, the doubt of whether he could ever be able to do it again, and his thanks to the fans for coming alongside him and pushing him back from the brink. The leadership lessons we can glean from Tiger Woods are simple, but extremely important. First, embrace and enjoy the here and now. Your life can change in an instant. I guarantee you Woods never would have dreamt of the 2009 low and that his life would go even lower. Living in the here and now is of great import. Embrace it. Number two, inspire and encourage others. Our pastor often talks about the walk of Jesus Christ, changing and saving lives in this world those you bring along with you. Tiger is not Jesus, but he has emerged as a more humble person with a clear dedication 
to impacting lives. And thirdly, impart your life experience through word and deed. Woods captained the U.S. 2019 President's Cup team this past weekend to victory in Melbourne, Australia. Actually, he didn't simply captain it to victory, he willed it to victory. Going 3-0 with two wins with Justin Thomas in a team competition and a Sunday singles leadoff win. He led through word and deed. He demonstrated greatness, he shared his knowledge of greatness with his team, and he trusted them to handle their business. The result, a historic comeback and a 16-14 victory. Although I've seen him at golf tournaments many times, I have never met Tiger Woods, but I guarantee this victory ranks right up there with any of his majors. I have no idea what was said in that team room the night before they went out for the final Sunday singles that would seal the victory, but I guarantee you this. Woods thought back to that time he was laying on his back quite possibly never playing the game he loves again, and spoke to his team with honesty, passion, and as a true leader. We are going to close with audio of his singles win over Abram Answer in the President's Cup and a clip from his Masters victory in April 2019. The call from Jim Nance at the end of that Masters victory says it all. Oh, is it firm enough? Yes, it is. Oh! <laughs> he had the hat off before it dropped, Gary. Unbelievable. So there's the first point. Sent out first, sent himself out first. Needed to get the first point. That's his 27th match win, the most now in President's Cup history. Many doubted we'd ever see it. But here it is. The return to glory. The Phoenix has risen. Redemption is complete. Tiger Woods is now a true leader. Merry Christmas, listeners. This is the Leadership Lounge with Marlo Foster.